Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Azure Automation Channel. Today in this session, we're gonna see how we can read a CSV file and fetch the data using a Python code. So we have seen this approach in the Java. So where we have used many lines to read the CSV file. So in this session, we're gonna simply extract the CSV file data with just minimal lines of code. So let's get started and do watch this entire session so that you will understand and implement across the development and testing. Let me open the PyCharm and this is a sample of CSV file. I just have only sample. Uh, you can add more data and you can uh, do a practicing there. So I'm gonna using uh, this uh, file. So this file directory and I'm gonna create a Python class. So this Python class I will say CSV read. Right. So before we get started, so we need to understand there are uh, some things that you need to understand that uh, CSV file. So we have open method. So open method has some written types. So we generally use the open here. So open method will be having some modes. So we have to provide which mode we are using like write operation or read operation. We have to provide read and write. So this will get the entire object of that uh, file. Again, then we have to use a reader class or write class to handle read and write operations. And along with that open, we also have a write or we can call it as with not write. So with is a keyword use it along with the open operation. So where we no need to close the file irrespective of what actions we have performing. So we have did a session on the read write of a text file where we have provided explicitly a file dot close there as we write or read the file. So when we are using this with keyword, we no need to provide a close operation again. So this method will provide you simplifies uh, exception handling and automatically close the CSV file. So let's get start. So first thing we have to do is uh, opening a CSV file. So to open CSV file, as I said, we can use with class. So with open and uh, under that we need to provide a file location. So we have a file location, this one, right? So I will copy that file location. So this I will mention as double quotation and I will provide so this is my file and I need to provide mode as well. So mode equals. So what kind of operation that we are performing at present? We are performing as a read operation. So this entire thing I'm referring as a file. So next time I just call file and I can simply open that file in a read mode and get the object of it. Right. Now in the next line, what we're going to do is we're going to say reading the CSV file. So how we're going to read the CSV file? Uh, I just mentioned some reference here. So reference is like a CSV file equals. So what we are doing is we are calling the CSV. So using a CSV dot reader so csv we haven't imported it so let me import that file or package import csv right so as soon as i import i will get all the related actions like reader writer so all this previous step we haven't found this so we have imported then we got the control so now i'm gonna provide the file so this file is in the reader format and then we have to display it so for displaying displaying the content content of csv file so this for this i will say print then csv file for line so line in csv file so csv file so there are multiple lines not just one line so we have to perform uh, iteration here unlike uh, text file so what it will do is this line in line number five it will read the 
uh, entire text file and it will get the object of it and from that object we are trying to do an operation called read so read operation we have read entire text file and i don't know uh, how many uh, lines of data we have in that csv file generally csv file we can open in the text file as well so that file has many lines so i need to iterate one by one so for that reason i'm using a for loop here for line in csv file and then i'm printing that uh, line line i need to print the line not the csv file right so simply save and run it now you got the data right so name location job then we got the details so this is the simplest way to get the data from the csv file so in the upcoming session we will see how we gonna write the csv data file so that will a uh, bit lengthier session so i have taken only a read operation in this session i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel if you have any questions queries you can do post in my comment section i will help you out if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague i thank you for watching